Hi YouTube! In this video we're gonna be discussing or showing the initial setup and configuration of the TP-Link TL-WR-N40N. Unboxing of this router. So what we're gonna do today is just show you how to install and set up the router. And remember, it comes with a Cat5 or RJ45 cable, besides the power adapter. So we are not gonna need anything else. Having said that, there are two things that I would like you to take into consideration for this video. One, this video is just for basics. You might say you already know that, there's nothing new in the video and all that. This video is for people that have no idea how to install a router or this is their first time. I mean, you never know. So this video is for this type of people. And also, what we're gonna do is replace an old router in this video. So that might require some MAC address changes, which we are gonna need. If it applies or not, we're still gonna show you guys how to change your MAC address just in case you're having difficulty getting on the internet after this installation. So the first thing I usually do, in my case, is plug in the RJ45 or CAT5 cable. This is connected to my modem or to the internet. Then I connect, you see, you connect it to the internet ULAN or this blue port right here. Then I connect the other RJ45 or CAT5. One end goes to one of these ports right here. It doesn't matter to which port. I generally use the first port. And from here, I'm gonna connect it to my computer. So my computer connection is right here. What I'll do now is get the power adapter. Plug it right here where it says power and go straight and plug it on the wall. Now that it has been plugged in the wall outlet, you see here there are two buttons. One, the power on and off, and two, the reset button. The reset button, if you want to factory reset the, the, the router, you just come here and press it. But in my case, I'm just gonna turn the router on. Okay, and you see first it turns red, while it's searching to connect. We're gonna wait until it turns blue. So we're just ready to go. We're gonna go on the interface to finish setting up the router. So in my case, I could easily connect the internet and got easy access to the internet. Let's see. Amazon.com, let's see if it shows up. So. In my case, I had no problem getting onto the internet. Some of you, after plugging in your new router, you're not gonna be able to get into the internet. So we're gonna see some steps and you should be able to solve that situation. So first thing first, we have to go to the web page, type in tp-link, tp-link.net, and you should get an interface. And if not, you can just type in the direction, 192.168.0, one. Okay, so this is the interface. I'm going to try again with the web page. So I'm going to do that again. I think I made a mistake the first time. It, this time it's tippling wifi.net. That should get me straight to the internet. Okay, exactly. So this is the interface right here. Either using this direction or using the tippling wifi.net. The username is quite easy. I mean, right off the bat, you get you can get the username at the back of the router, and it's easy. It's admin for most people. If you haven't changed it, we can make another another video, or we're gonna make another video to show you where to change that, and you can change your password also. So that's gonna bring you to the quick setup part of the interface. All you have to do is just click next. So you were using this as a standard wireless router. If you want to use it as an X access point you will know what to do or as a range extender but this video is using this router as a standard wireless router you click on next so we can see that in most cases most common cases and this is also by default 
most people use dynamic IP if you need to use the others that we're looking at right here you're gonna know that you need them if you have no idea what you're doing or what they are for just use dynamic um, IP then you, you click on next and then you have my clone in this case I don't really need a Mac clone because um, I could access the internet immediately I set up my new router but in your case, if you can't or if you couldn't connect to the internet, we're going to show you in a couple of minutes a quick walk around so you can solve the situation. So I just chose, you just leave it at no, I do not need a Mac clone. If you do need a Mac clone, just click on yes, in my case no, and we click on next. And you see right here in Quick Setup Wireless um, with the wireless network name. This is the name of my wireless and this is my password right now so you can change this you can change this okay and then you click next congratulations that's all you're done the basic internet and wireless settings are finished click please click finish button and test your internet connection if it is failed please reboot your modem and wait two minutes or run the quick setup again so we're just gonna click finish and that's all so this is the information of my wireless router and um, internet so at this point some of you may be able to get into the internet so if you're if you open a website like I did a couple of minutes ago for example let's see elementary crafts children's ministry okay you open that it should take you there with no problem but if you're not able to, there's a, a walk around as long as you have your other parameters online. For example, um, your internet is okay and all that. In this case, we might then need to do a MAC address clone. One thing I would just advise is to get your MAC address off your old router. So we're going to use that old MAC address to do a MAC address clone. So we just go back to interface and all you have to do is go to network and select my clone. Okay, so this is my MAC address right now and this is gonna, not going to work for you guys. All you just have to do is um, use your old MAC address and place it right here. Note, please do not select any of these two buttons right here. Uh, after you finish, all you have to do is just press save. In my case, I'm not gonna do it. Um, since I have internet work and my internet working directly, but if you do not have your internet working directly and you needed this Mac clone, all you just have to do is write your Mac address off your old router and then press save. This is basically telling your internet that your old router is still plugged in. When you install the new router, the, the, the MAC address changes and it's like the internet is, is saying, okay, what, what's going on? I do not recognize this address. So you just change it, you use your old MAC address and your internet should work okay. This is nothing bad or illegal, it's just a quick walk around. So after pressing save, the router or your router should probably save and probably restart. You just have to go back and check your status and, um, and that's all, and that's all. So basically you have all this interface right here, a lot of things you can do with your TP-Link router. You have quick setup right here just in case. WPS, I'm not gonna mess with that. Working mode, we over, we've already seen it. Network, well, we've already seen how to map clone. Wireless, this is where you change the name of, the name of your wireless setting. And uh, in security, you can change your password, okay? And uh, what else, guest network, you can control your guest network. DHCP, this is where you wanna save your address so it won't be changing every time. Basically, what you, it's gonna do is make your IP addresses, I mean, IP ad addresses of the different devices you use at home, you can just have them permanent. The rental control, you can control access for your kids. Here, access control. In system tools right here, you can change the default name and uh, password given to you by TFLink and give it a new username and user 
password. So that was the TP-Link Model TLWR 940N initial setup and configuration. Hope you guys got some solutions from this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Click in on the button below. Thank you very much for watching our video. Until next time, ciao.